What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more One Piece. Today we're doing episodes 147 through 150. We are on Jaya Island getting fucking messed with and beat up by Bellamy the Hyena. Already pissing me off, but we're gonna get info on Skypea, Sky Island, and uh, that is what I'm really looking forward to. So hopefully you guys are excited as I am. If you are, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section. Make sure you guys subscribe and hit that notifications bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Make sure you guys check out that Patreon. Early access, the full uncut versions up to eight episodes ahead. All the links are down below like you like you guys always need it. Uh, other than that, let's hop right on these episodes. One Piece, episodes 147 through 150. Let's do it. Okay, on to episode 147. Here we go. Jesus, they're taking beatings. You guys are something else. I don't think you realize how strong we actually are. Oh, we can get into plenty of fights, but this is, it's not worth it for peons like you guys. You guys, you know? Even though Luffy has more composure and patience than me, I would have fucked Bellamy up. Ah, oh, these guys are savages. And when I say these guys, I'm talking about Luffy and Zoro, not these fuckwits. Tell him, Nami. Huh? <laughs> you know Nami's pissed. Who is saying that? Sounds like Uvo. Which is, if it is Uvo, would it be... That is 100% Uvo. And if I remember, because I haven't watched the last sesh for like a, a couple of days. That's a, is that Roshio? Fuck yeah it is. We need dreamers, ambition. This is so Uvo from Hunter x Hunter. I love him so much. This is that rambunctious laugh, you know? Drinking rum, eating cherry pie. Dreams and hopes will never die out, you know? I'm very curious about this guy. I, Luffy hasn't said a word in like this whole episode either. Like, say something, my boy. I hope we can too. I hope I see you again, Mr. Uvo again. I just really like his voice actor. That's why I keep calling him that. I mean, listen to that laugh. How can he not like that, dude? Hmm. I'm curious about these shots. Curious about him. I wonder who he is too. Yeah, what do you mean they? Repairing a ship, the boy Chopper and Usopp. Heck yeah. That boy Usopp's always repairing the ship. Respect to that boy. Ugh. Yeah, it was gifted to us from Kaya and Mary. You never met Kaya. <laughs> Girl, we need someone who can repair it. This is like some band-aids or some tape, you know? We need some patching. Yeah, we need some actual repair. I agree. I agree with Sanji on this one. <laughs> what the fuck is that in the distance? Salvage? That boy fucking Masira. We're not your typical men, Nami. Whereas a typical guy, yeah. Blow up the whole town? What? Huh? Hmm. 
Yeah, we got laughed at and thrown drinks at and beaten up, sadly. Tell me why I forgot Robin's already a member. I'm so not used to having her. Yeah, where have you been, Miss, Miss Robin? I like the clothes. Oh. Oh, that is fucking handy. I love that. I love her power every time I see it. Okay, we're in Mocktown. We got Mouth Bay, South Grove. X on the other side. Yep. Mont Blanc Cricket. Mont Blanc. Oh. Is it ultra where you like can sonar? No, where you can scan the bottom of the ocean and get like a topographical map of the, the ocean floor. What the fuck? Is this their version of sonar? Yeah. I know. Like, what's the point of sonar for that one? It's like right there. What's up with the monkey themes lately? We've got Mossy right now. We've got the Utan divers. Morin Nohito. Morin Nohito. Another monkey. Yeah, you got quite the look on you, buddy. Shoujo. He's the big boss of the Shoujo pirates. Okay. Oh, so they know Masira. Of course, they would know the other monkey themed. <laughs> of course, they're brothers. Of course, they are. All right, present Mike. What is this? My hero? Chill out. He's doing his own ship, you fucking idiot. So the sounds are finally starting to reach over to our ship. If I were Robin, I don't know if she can reach that far. I would have just put like a couple of arms, to, you know, cover his mouth up or something. God damn, that's some sounds and horrible singing. That's terrifying. Pub and pies. They're talking about how Robin got that information. This gold bullion. So now we got Bellamy coming to meet us at Mont Blanc's area as well. And we're all looking for gold bullion, possibly. All right. I don't know the number of this ending, ending four, five, six, seven, but this is my first time hearing this and watching it fully. So let's watch this. The hammocks on the, on oh, the night post, Robin. Little Robin backstory in the endings that is the her themed ending. All right. That was the end of that ending. I like that ending a lot. That Robin, a nice, cool, calm theme one, you know? All right. On to episode 148. <laughs> that damn orangutan. Hell yeah. Just how Luffy. I hate these guys. I hate these fucking guys, I tell you. That's his house? What the hell? Of course it is. He's a dreamer. I know. You can't just walk into someone's house, home. Is that a book? I like books. Nolan the Liar. Ooh. Oh, you were born in North Blue. No, I didn't know that. 
the fairy tale, but I've heard that this Nolan guy actually existed a long time ago. Okay. What's up, Nolan? Are we going to get a little children's story? 400 years ago? Oh, he's Usopp. Taking two soldiers with him to verify the veracity of this. Oh, 1900 men died. So there is a mountain of gold down there. Hey, if you're that persistent and commit to your lie even until you're dead, nah, that's the truth. Cricket's a descendant of Nolan. So that's Mont Blanc Cricket underwater looking for the gold because he said it was underwater, right? <laughs> Usopp, that's literally you. Okay, you can 100% tell this guy is Mont Blanc Cricket because of the fucking acorn on his head. Ooh! Aison? I've never heard of that. Oh. Yeah. De is, is the nickname for that decompression sickness? Because I've heard of that, where when you're coming up, you have to stop somewhere in like a stationary spot. Let he's cool with he's cool with Masira and the other fucking one, Shoujo. They're gonna come in and see Luffy and the rest of them. Yeah, they seem to have a really close friendship with Mont Blanc Cricket. I'm just gonna start calling him Cricket. Come to realize that, you know, everyone says their last name first in this, which is a typical Japanese thing. I'm just used to it from my hero where you can call them the first or last name. Whereas this, no one calls Luffy monkey. You know, so we're, I'm gonna start calling him Cricket. <laughs> He's like, ah, oh, did I? Can I? I never tested that out. Not you laughing at us too, Nami's heated. Legendary big liar. <laughs> they all think it's Is that not you, Cricket? Mont Blanc. Yep. 400 years, a descendant. That'd have to be great, 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 great grandson. He's my granddad's, granddad's, granddad's. Gr <laughs> yeah, exactly. So he couldn't have been lying. Yeah, so even though they made it like a children's storybook like that, it is relatively sad, you know? He just wants the gold for the gold? Yeah, 
黄金鏡などかけらも見当たらねえこの島の岬に立つて、蹴りをつけようぜ、ノーランド。So his、uh, crew left him on his destiny style journey, and he solo started looking for that gold. He just wants to know one way or the other. This is a duel with the man. <laughs> This is a duel with his dead ancestor. That's all he wants to know. He just wants to know. But they added some levity, some friendliness, some companionship. Well, if you love simple minded idiots like them, you'll love Luffy. He's like, that is not why we came here. I asked you about Skypea. Yeah, that would actually be crazy. That would be an insanely cool read to read other people's logs and journeys on the Grand Line from 400 years ago. Many peculiar things. Sanji's like, whoa, never heard of that. I want to cook one of those. He's like, ah, those guys are dreamers. Are we going to Sky Island with the squad with Cricket, Masira, and Shoujo? Okay, I kind of like our new monkey squad. I'm kind of down. Mihawk? 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 Hello? He's like, Zoro's getting a name. Give me a grin. Give me a grin. Give me a grin. Come on. Fucking go, god damn it. That's all I needed. That's all I needed in life right there. I'm I'm good. I'm good. All right. On to episode 149. Okay. Tell us what you know. We've seen that before. The giants. Cumulo regalis. Okay. <laughs> New plan. I don't know how we plan on doing that, but get Cloud Rudder full. Why are they, guys, how are we gonna do that? Yeah. Okay. That'd be so scary launching up that high. You just land down and just fucking die. That's what I would think. That's what I would assume. Okay. If it, if it sends you up to the sky, I would assume so. I like how nothing's set in stone. It's all theories. That's actually a pretty damn good explanation. I would believe that. That's one I would stick with. Yeah, that has to be a massive explosion. And it only lasts a minute, but a minute is like a long time, like during it, you know? Five times a month. That is interesting. Facts. When you put it in logical terms, yeah. Yeah, this seems like a very crazy plan. I like how Usopp's just like nervously laughing along with, with Luffy, but Luffy's like, no, seriously, like we could do this, let's just do it. That's a valid point. I don't think we'd be able to survive any sort of explosion or an upcurrent or sky travel or anything. Yeah, even in mint condition? So what are we gonna do? We have seen much bigger ships, so what are we gonna do? 
Upgrade? They do have nice ships. Okay, shouts out Masiru and Shoujo. Yeah, we can't wait for that next monthly updraft, right? So what are we going to do about that? Or even for our ship to be repaired. Yeah. Well, if fate permits, I guess we have to. We can't argue that. Okay, now Usopp's just pulling this card. Again, it does sound too good to be true. It's a little convenient. I get what you're saying. Now you're just being a little disrespectful. Oh, it's just like a confirmed thing, because we saw the night thing happen. Damn. He didn't even take what Usopp said as a slight. He just came back with knowledge and reason. Okay. Shout out my boy, uh, shout out my boy Cricket. The Mont Blanc. Come on, apologize, Usa. This dude's being real nice helping us out. <laughs> With the hug and everything. Come on. Shout out my boy Cricket, the Mont Blanc family. I hope we can clear the, the Nolan name. Is, I, mean, I saw gold in the skull's eye. The skull's right eye. I saw gold in the skull's right eye. I gotta remember that. Yeah, because I'm like, but it has to mean something. I guess we'll. Shouts out to that man, Nolan. Shouts out to Sky Island, Nolan, the rest of the Straw Hats, and Gold in the Skull's right eye. A bell. A strange bird calls. That's crazy. It's probably a humbling moment. I'm curious all about this. This is such an interesting and different arc from how political and... Ooh. I don't want to pause it, but I'm going to pause it real quick just to talk about that. That's one thing that I really enjoyed about Hunter x Hunter, because it's my favorite shonen of all time. And that's one thing that I'm thoroughly enjoying about this. Whereas the arcs, even though they're obviously they're different with different villains and stuff like that, they have different themes and different vibes to them. Whereas like the first, I, I'm thinking of, you know, because Barati and everything before was kind of a smaller arc. So I think of like the first big kind of arc, which is Arlong. Arlong Park was more of a familial uh mafioso style issue whereas the last one was more of a political drama with a lot of you know and like and then whereas this one's more of a fantasy where it's so crazy and i love hunter hunter whereas you had like the crime style one you had the fantasy one as well the video game style like i love very differences in arcs and i'm thoroughly enjoying that about this like this feels so much different than alabasta already we're chasing some fantasy fantasy island in the sky he actually has a gold bell. Wow. Those are. So that's proof. That's what I'm saying. That's tangible proof. What do they prove then? Okay. True. Look at that. Bringing up the archaeological facts. That thing shining. Oh, they can tell Bellamy's coming. It said sailors of long used south birds can, can only be found by one of those directly south. Yeah, I would assume to sail south. Yeah, we can't because the compasses don't point towards the magnetic north, they just point towards islands. That's facts. So we need a south bird. We get a south bird. He's probably just like, like just pointing towards the direction. Ah, you know. 
Bro, so new impromptu uh, side quest. You gotta go into the forest and get a south bird. Okay. You gotta catch a south bird. Interesting. Me. Yeah, okay. Chopper and Luffy. We got Robin and Zoro. And then Sanji, Usopp, and Nami. Ooh. Always reminds me of uh, Misty from Pokemon. Hated bugs, Caterpie. You know, I hate bugs. Yeah, you're in the deep jungle. You know, there's going to be loads of insects. Moths aren't as bad to me, even though the biggest moth, I think, recorded something like that. Like, a really big moth was recorded in a city, like, 40 minutes away from me, like, a few months ago. Nine-inch wingspan. Ooh. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, follow Robin. Let's have Robin lead the way. The fuck? A quagmire? What are you watching? Family Guy? <laughs> Obviously, the One Piece. There it is. No, Luffy, Chopper. Ooh, no, thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah, Chopper can talk to animals. I'll kill you for invading this forest. What the hell? And now we gotta deal with Bellamy? <laughs> Bellamy is deranged, to say the least. That dude is crazy. All right, on to episode 150, the last episode of this session. The bird is determined to kill us. Bellamy's determined to get some gold. And I'm determined to watch some One Piece. This South Bird has like an army of insects and uh, life at his disposal. He's using fucking flying praying mantises, using beehives and wasp nests. Bah! We gotta catch one of these suckers. The hell are those? Uh, what could roll like that? Can't be armadillos. I'm assuming those are like shit things from beetles pushing down. Beetle dung, yep. Oh, they are bugs themselves. Ladybugs. Oh, finally, something pretty. And then, ooh, cockroaches. Hey, pigs aren't so bad. Better pigs than, like, boars with, like, the tusks. The you know, bears can also hurt. You know, they got some chompers. I guess this will be some good power scaling for Bellamy Squad versus cricket and masira and shoujo oh he's straight throwing hands catching him with the kick bellamy doesn't seem too phased what kind of sword is that it's called like a kukri right I've seen that sword i've seen that in like a what's that newer zombie dying light some shit like that okay way to stop the hand itself launching the blade well played Spring snipe? He can turn body parts into springs? What did he eat? The spring spring fruit? That's actually kind of cool. And he launches. That force that he launches with packs a punch. Okay, Bellamy's kind of intimidating. Meanwhile, he broke the front off our ship. See, now I don't want to pause it again. We've seen a lot of characters with devil fruit powers so far. We've seen a good amount, 20 or 30 or so, but we've only ever seen, and correct me if I'm wrong, we've seen Chopper have a semblance of eating his, I believe, maybe I'm mistaken. We've seen Buggy and Luffy. I want to see more devil fruit backstories on the users themselves and how they got their fruit, like how they specifically got access to the fruit, because I want to know more world building in and of itself, you know? I'm sure you guys will be like, oh, you'll get into that 600 episodes from now, but I need to know. And I don't think Luffy and the Straw Hats are going to be too happy and cool with that. 
And they're taking the gold too. Fuck no. That was a big slice. Yeah, let's fucking blow their eardrums out or some shit. Over here causing chasms. That spring packs a punch. I mean, Masira got slashed. Jojo. Oh, I really. That's why they were doing the. Oh, I don't know how I didn't put that together. We got, we got ship salvagers and the sonar looking for shit. And I pray they're not dead. I've only known them for a few episodes and I fuck with them. They're just trying to help out their fucking boy, old timer. I mean, I knew we had to beat Bellamy's ass before, but now oh, it's like a whole different level. God damn. Fuck your shit. I'm worried of. Oh my God. Shoujo, you cool, my man? I don't. Oh. Only thing that gives me hope is Pell. I saw that man, what I thought, died twice, and he's still cool. Is that Robin? Okay, Miss Robin. That's the only thing that gives me hope. Is that Shoujo and Masi Rush so cool? Yeah. That boy Cricket can make it out as well. He's like taunting them. Literally what he's doing. Baka. Shouts out to my girl Robin. That is so handy. That is so handy. Oh no. And the front of their ship is cut off. I was so excited to see their ship like repaired in like mint condition. Maybe even with some upgrades. I know. Yeah, we're supposed to leave tomorrow afternoon. Technically, it's like past midnight, right? So technically today. Yeah. That is so ass. Nah, man, you know that's important to you. Well, just tell us who did it so we can at least. Yeah, they're real ones for still doing this even after all this. Oh, they left the sign, so they should recognize that's Bellamy's. And now it's like, okay, you guys can do what you want to me and my boy Zoro, but. Is he gonna go handle this alone? Oh, he can handle it in three hours. Do you know who Luffy is? <laughs> That's the only way you're gonna stop him. I'll be back by <laughs> Luffy is a savage. Is that the new batch of wanted posters so they can finally get updated on Luffy and Zoro's numbers? A hundred million? <laughs> he has to make sure it's that number. He has to re... He's triple checking. <laughs> you see how much he's sobered up? I'm <laughs> seeing that... Jumu! Yeah, Luffy's just getting more and more pissed thinking about how Bellamy's fucking over this nice dude. Nah, it's raps for Bellamy. Fifty-five million. Okay, Bellamy, that's kind of cool. 
すぐ逃げた方がいいぜあんたあんたが一番危ねえよ何の話だ Me in danger? You said a hundred million? A hundred million? Even Zoro, our right hand man, is worth more than you, Bellamy. You're dead, me? Why are you saying that to Bellamy? He would just fuck you up just for saying that to him. He's like, what is that paper gonna scare you for? We saw him earlier today being a pussy, so. I could actually see that to be H. Alright, you're gonna have time to prove it right now. He took out one of the seven warlords who. The warlord was into the bad stuff, you know? This is much different to how Luffy was in the bar last time. Oh, I love this. time is it is it gonna cut away right now no we're gonna get the fight next episode of course but damn damn it's gonna be a good fight though i'm looking forward to bellamy getting his ass whooped okay so masira and now shoujo who i thought were gonna be the joke throwaway characters that i didn't i weren't really gonna like i'm actually liking a lot same thing with crickets they're sort of they're not quite like dalton's i really enjoyed him like a lot earlier in the uh drum arc but i am thoroughly enjoying and i'm because he's saying they were going to repair our ship and then show us the way or does that mean they're not coming with us because i wouldn't be surprised if they didn't come with us they have their own thing they're doing but to have such like a not like intricate but like a cool backstory and a cool named characters who are playing a pretty big part for them to just be only here a little bit i want them to play a little bit bigger of a role in Skype. I sure hope so. But if not, then I appreciate them. They got their ass whooped by Bellamy squad. That spring spring fruit is actually kind of strong and kind of crazy, especially if we're just launching and, and hitting crazy powerful punches. But that fight next episode with Bellamy and Luffy is going to be insane. Huge shout out to Masira, uh, Shoujo and Cricket for helping us out, giving us all the info on, on Skype. How we have to use the underwater sea explosions for the up current, which will hopefully time up with the Cumulo, Galora, Malora, Chakoras, Clouds, and then the Frost, you know what I'm saying? So like, we're getting into some fantasy land and I'm I'm just sitting here along the ride, like I'm on a roller coaster. So I'm here to view it. Thankfully, Oda has been doing a fantastic job. His world building is absolutely insane. That's the thing that I want. Like, I would love to just have like a Minecraft creative mode in this and just be able to literally just flow up, fly to island to island and see everything real time. It's oh, it'd be so crazy. I would love just because the world building is insane. I love it so much, but I'm excited. Like I said, for this fight, I'm excited to get into the sky island. Jaya Island has been pretty cool and the people have been pretty cool, but I'm ready to continue forward. Hopefully you guys are excited. If you are, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Other than that, don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out. Uh -oh.